Hello again. Uh, today's video is to show you how to use shortcut hotkeys for the C Trader platform. This is where you have um, keyboard hotkeys or shortcuts on the keyboard that you can use to interact with the trading platform. One common one that I use mostly with the, throughout the videos is the F11 key. If I press it now, it toggles the view, the active symbol panel and the trade watch window at the bottom. It toggles between the three states. So there's three states it toggles between, okay? Full chart, active symbol uh, window panel on the left, or the right, sorry, and the trade watch window at the bottom. Another way of doing that, sorry about that, another way of doing that is to actually go to layout up here, click on layout, and from the layout, you can choose, you can uncheck show active symbol panel, and if I uncheck trade watch, now they're just completely gone. Um, if I press F11 again, they come back. So this is a way of actually doing it here, but there's two key, two keystrokes to do this. One is to click this, one is to click this. Uh, on the left-hand side, you've just got this button left, which hides it there. Um, it would be nice if there was something to the right to, tra to hide the active symbol panel with a single click, it would be cool, but we don't have that. So F11, you have to press for it to do it for now. Okay, so I'll bring the panel back on the right. So what I'm gonna do now, Actually, I'll just quickly show you one more very useful feature that I like using with the, with the platform, and that's to zoom in and out of the um, chart. That's to hold down the control key and scroll the mouse up and down. And you can zoom in and out, it's quite fast, okay? That is one way of doing it. It's a lot faster than doing it the other way. The only problem is when you zoom back out, it doesn't um, come back to its original state. So that is one for zooming in and out. And the other thing I wanted to show you is um, the hotkeys. Okay, so I'm gonna go straight in, uh, bottom left here, you can see the little mouse fl flashing, you've got the settings button. <clears throat> if you click on it, it comes up with the um, settings window. Over here, you've got the hotkeys, click on that. Now this is a list of all the hotkeys that are related to uh, the events or the keystrokes on your keyboard. Now the one we've been using is F11. So if you click on it, I'll just click off it again. If I click on one that I wanna change, it says press. What that means is it wants you to press any key on the keyboard and once you do that, that key stroke will be assigned to that task. So if I change this to F1, actually we've got F1, if I change this to Q, and it's not allowing me to use Q, it comes up with red, that's actually a good example. If I try it again and I do a function key, maybe it's a function key, if I do F2, it's not allowing F2, it's being used. Ah, so these are keys that are being used somewhere else, so I'm gonna use something else. Oh, oh I'm gonna change that again to F6. Okay, F6 is available. So you keep pressing it until you find one that's available. Now, if I go to the chart and I press F6, it toggles the chart with F6. So the whole idea is they come with preset um, keystrokes that you can use to interact with the, um, with the trading platform. And you can press F1 to open up the help file, the user manual, which is an online user manual. F12, um, I toggle the full screen. So if I do it now, you can see it goes full screen. Page up and down, fast scrolling left and right. Sorry about that. Fast scrolling left and right. Uh, so it's got various keystrokes that you can use to navigate around the screen. Um, deleting objects is delete. If you go down here, you've got trade. So you can switch chart mode by pressing F2, which I'll do now. And it changes the chart mode. Okay, these are the chart modes here. You've got uh, multi, multi view, you've got single view, and you've got free chart mode, okay? Um, so these are various things you can use. You can new order screen by pressing F9. So if you wanted a new order screen to submit an order, um, you can just press F9 and want to come up. So it's a lot faster if you want this type, this order screen is more in detail. So it's a very quick way of doing it rather than right clicking your mouse, clicking on new order screen. Okay, it just saves you a bit of time. Um, you can increase or decrease font size, show and ask or ask uh, bid and ask price. <clears throat> That's for that. For automate, you've got a if I was in automate, now it's grayed out, but if I go down to automate, actually I'm gonna do that. These should ungrade, which they're not. I'm gonna ignore that for now. But if you were in the automate window, you've got uh, various hotkeys for doing certain features there. So these are all the features, and I'm just gonna quickly show you now how to change one. So if I want to um, toggle full screen, but I don't wanna use F12, I think I just showed you this earlier, I'm going mad. You can press F6, I think I just showed you this. Sorry about that if I did, it's been a tough day. So these have all been used. If it comes up with red, um, F3, there you go. So you can easily change the value. I'm pretty sure I did show you. Anyway, it's been a long day. Sorry about that. So that's the hotkeys to use with the C-Trader platform. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's very useful. Most people prob probably aren't even aware it's there or they're not using it. Um, I would probably work out which hotkeys that you use the most 
um, I'd write them down on a piece of paper so you get used to it and I would just use those to fast navigate on the chart. Okay, thank you very much. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up at the bottom. Thank you.